Hey, what's going on everyone? Joe here from the home screen doing a upgrade video for the Alienware Alpha which we got here throwing in this wonderful Intel Core i5 processor it is the uh, i5 469 sorry 4690s uh, processor <clears throat> now to start off with uh, for those who are wondering you're not going to get the full uh, processor performance <clears throat> that the i5 can do. You're going to get uh, clocked to about 290 due to the power consumption of the Alienware Alpha unit. So be aware of that wonderful little bit. Get the cat out of the way. <clears throat> so go ahead and get into the box here of the Alienware, uh, or sorry, the Intel <coughs> i5 processor. Big old heat sink right there. That's a huge monster, holy crap. Which, it's like, <laughs> it's almost like a quarter of the size of the Alienware Alpha. <coughs> so we know that's not going to go in there. Jump into the processor. Right there. Get the camera to focus in. Piece of cake, right? Right. All right. Alienware Alpha is very easy to upgrade. Four screws on the bottom. Um, I bought the stock unit. The i3 comes with four gigs. Uh, upgradable to sixteen. <coughs> oh, lost the camera. Sorry. Upgradable to sixteen. And. Uh, comes with a 500 gigabyte hard drive, just your standard drive. Uh, it's 54 RPH, much necessary to upgrade. If you're ever, if, in, if you ever buy one of these process or these units, <coughs> you're gonna notice right away that that processor or that hard drive is super super sluggish. So, much needed upgrade. So, tear apart. The bottom, just like that. Have the alpha unit, flip it over. So once you get here, gives you exactly what you're looking for. CPU, GPU not upgradable. So we're gonna jump right into the CPU. Take off top cover. Here's our CPU. And looks like it's screwed in. Look at the <laughs> heat sink on this one compared to the one that comes with the <laughs> the i5. <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> but this Alienware Alpha is a great unit. I'm enjoying it. So it plops off like that. There's our CPU. Top cover like that. Take out the actual unit. There's our i3. Put that on top of the C CPU heat sink. Toss in our i3. Or sorry, i5. <coughs> Going for upgrade, not downgrade. Looks like uh, find the little slots here. Not that one. This one here, it's dummy proof, thankfully. Drop it in. Lock it back in place.
This is highly not recommended. This is for the purpose of this video and to get the unit up and running. I'm smearing some of the thermal paste. the unit. As well as I can. And put the heat sink back on. Like so. Like I said, uh, you don't get the full performance out of the i5 on this Alienware Alpha. You, it gets clocked down to uh, 290. But you will get the full 4 core. Which is one of the reasons why I bought it. And I guess such an impressive deal when I bought my Alienware. That the upgrades are just flat out necessary. Make sure they're all screwed back in. <coughs> Cover back on. Like that. And all you have to do now. Just put the top cover back on, put the alpha, flip over, bottom cover on, put the screws back in, and that will be the unit. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This isn't always the like the ne neatest neatest to get back in. I've noticed that there's like a little ridge edge. It doesn't always like to work how it's supposed to. Always feel like I'm gonna snap it. You hear all the snap cock pops. Get the rice crispy cereal. Whoops. And there it is, back in place. Except for this little section over here, like I said. Case is always nicest to get back in. It's these little that's a little edge right here. Yeah, snap back in like that. And there's our unit. All back together. In the Malera Alpha. Uh, hopefully this works out great.